So innovation is changing something that is pre-existing, specifically by introducing new methods, ideas, and even technological advances. But the line quickly blurs when we're talking about a for-profit company or organization, especially when there aren't very many competitors. So today we're going to be taking a look at the latest in Creality CR10 lineup, which is this SE variant. Now in order to tie in my opening remarks, first I need to introduce this printer. So to my understanding, the CR10 was originally born to be Creality's competitor in the large build volume segment. After digging through the internet, I was led to believe that the CR10 lineup typically had about 300 millimeter dimensions. And coming in at 220 by 220 by 265 millimeters, the CR10 SE simply appears to be a highly optioned reskinned Ender 3. When you look at a spec sheet, the hardware differences between the CR10 SE and then the Ender 3 s1 pro are limited to the linear rails on x and y as well as creality k1 ceramic hot end certainly these marginal differences should have been reserved for creality's clipper edition of the ender 3 and by the way make sure to subscribe because that printer will be featured on this channel when it's released so that's where i'm going to end my hardware rundown because i truly believe that this machine is an ender 3 wearing a cr10 badge there just isn't new bed slinger innovation for for me to share. So to take everything I've mentioned thus far and finally tie it all together, my main question is why Creality released this machine? It just doesn't make sense. And while I don't have an exact reason as to why Creality mixed the CR10 and the Ender 3 brand, I can confidently assume it has something to do with market share. If Creality can continue to flood the market with more printers than other companies, then they're gonna hold the most power. And sometimes quantity is is more important than quality when it comes to big business. Now, I certainly do not appreciate that sentiment, but you're going to have to understand that it is true. So is Creality trying to do this? Well, again, I don't know for sure, but I can only assume that that is their goal. So all of that aside, I really do quite like this machine. It comes with beautiful injection molded panels and an incredibly convenient LED light bar. Creality claims this machine can reach 600 millimeters per second print speed but be warned that the default print speed within Creality Print Slicer is 150 millimeters per second. Honestly though, with Clipper and the linear rails on X and Y, this machine can likely sustain 200 to 250 millimeters per second print speed, but given the speedy Core XY machines on the market today, that speed is still relatively obsolete. Speaking of which, let's also bring the Creality K1 into the discussion. And at $499, the K1 is only only $50 more expensive than the CR10 SE, which is yet again another point of confusion for me. These two printers are from the same generation and roughly the same price, yet the K1 offers a wildly more robust performance and a significantly better user experience. And you can check out my review on the K1 here. So for me, one absolutely massive point of contention about this machine is going to be the Clipper implementation. Creality finally released a fully unlocked Clipper experience for the K1, yet they seem to have left the CR10 SE in the dust with its locked down, TOS breaking, and quite frankly, disrespectful Clipper implementation. And don't make me rant on this topic anymore because trust me, I will. So all of that said, I want to make a very clear statement here. My time with the CR10 SE has been great. It prints very well with minimal effort, albeit just a little bit slow, and its first layers are definitively better than the K1. Of the models I printed, there was only one set of unique geometry that the CR10 SE couldn't print well. Overall, I absolutely would trust this machine in my print farm. My primary concerns with this machine lie squarely with the price and with the Clipper integration. Depending on your country or region, this machine might be priced better than the US market, and if you don't need the advanced Clipper features, 
then maybe this is gonna be the right machine for you. If you do wanna learn more about the CR-10 SE, check out my links in the description. And is this machine for you? Well, only you have the power to answer that. And in the comments below, let me know your opinion on Creality releasing waves of printers and printer variants. Make sure to click the subscribe button because I know you haven't, and I will see you in the next video.